Tanzania has long been committed to combating malaria. But researchers at Taifa Kara Health Institute are taking the fight to a whole new level. They are targeting the source of the problem itself, the mosquitoes. So we basically modify mosquitoes, um, making them refractory to malaria infection. And these properties are passed on in what we call a super Mendelian fashion. And with time, you basically have most, a population of mosquitoes that are unable to transmit malaria. In 2021, there were 619,000 worldwide deaths from malaria. Most of them were children under the age of five in sub-Saharan Africa. Scientists here say this is just the beginning of a new era where humans and mosquitoes can coexist without fear. This program is the first of its kind in Africa. Unlike other efforts to suppress mosquito reproduction altogether, researchers here are experimenting with blocking parasites in mosquitoes instead. That way, the mosquitoes themselves survive. This new mosquito strain is currently housed in dedicated biosafety level facilities at the research center. The research has been made possible by other innovative solutions, feeding mosquitoes a blood-free diet. Our research aim to provide the scientists, all the people working at the insector, laboratory insector for the mosquitoes, with an alternative solution of vertebrate blood, whereby we are testing this artificial free, artificial blood free diet to mim I mean which mimics the blood to rear the mosquito that can be reared without using the blood. Despite the buzz surrounding yeah. this research, scientists here are aware there will still be challenges. There are so many perceptions from people regarding this type of technology. As we have modified the mosquitoes, my, people might think, you know, that they'll make them infertile. And so those are things that we really need to dig into now at the initial stages of this project to get the perception of this technology. The Transgenic Mosquito Project could not only save countless lives, but it could also serve as a blueprint for countries around the world battling against this deadly disease. And it will help to achieve the World Health Organization goal of zero malaria transmission by 2030. So each mosquito being modified here can help usher in a new strain that will give Tanzania and the rest of the world a healthier future. Daniel Kijo, CGTN, Dar es Salaam.